Well, John, a, a simple question. It's, it's, it's crunch time. How are you feeling and what, what, what's the feeling within you? Uh, a bit of everything, I think. There's a lot of emotions. Um, I think probably the main one's excitement, I think, um, for what's coming up to unbelievably tense but exciting games. Um, you know, and, and obviously two completely different outcomes at the end of it. But, you know, it's still a challenge that, that I relish and... Um, the lads should be, you know, like I say, excited about going into this challenge um, and feel positive about it. Very interesting to hear you say that because you'd be forgiven for saying that you're nervous and, and apprehensive, but you genuinely like that's the best mindset you think that you need to take. I think you have to. I mean, obviously, there's, there's tension in there, there's nerves, um, but all that can kind of underlie, you know, in you know, underneath the excitement. And I think if you can keep those little bits at bay, you know, I'm I'm nervous and, and apprehensive and, and and a certain amount of tension going into any game that I play because I want to do my best and I want to I want to represent myself properly and, and and my team and my teammates. So that's always there. But I think the excitement of what could happen if we get these next two wins um, would be you know magnificent. And I think we've got to really cling on to that. Um, positive side of it and drive towards it and, and look forward like I say and relish the challenge. Is the excitement come from where you were months ago when it seemed like no hope seven eight points away and, and okay the gap's not got better in the last few weeks but is it kind of that the fact that you, you've you've pulled it back from so far? No I don't think it's that we've pulled it back we I felt the same eight or nine games ago to be honest um, but I think now, because we've still got that chance, because it's still there on the table for us, I think that's probably the biggest thing. Not that we're climbing it back, but we haven't let anything else slide. Um, and because of results and our results and, and you know bits and pieces around, we've still given ourselves a, a huge chance for these last two games now. So it's in our hands. Um, you know, we, we need to win on Saturday. You know, there's no skirting around that. We need to get the result. If we don't, and results go for us then you know we live again to to fight another day and we and we go again down to Swindon but um, our, f our focus can only be on, on the next game for now um, get three points and then uh, you know going to the final day of the season with a, with a real chance. The manager said he, he wasn't interested in other results on Saturday he just wants you to win but are you a type of player that would like to know because obviously what's going on elsewhere could have a, a massive impact on, on what you need to do on Saturday? Um, I don't think I'd be one if, if I'm on the pitch. If I'm if I'm on the bench, then I'd be nudging somebody to let me know what the results are, like anybody would um, on the sly, obviously. Um, but if I'm on the pitch, I think I'd, I just want to get on with the game and and play it. You know, if you're in a, a winning position, you don't want to to rest on that. You want to keep keep going and and try and secure everything. I think we'll probably have a little bit of a, an inkling with the supporters and and how uh, their reaction is towards things. So. Um, I'm sure the lads will have a, a bit of an idea, but it's about us on Saturday and, and we need to win the game and, and that's the be-all and end-all, really. You mentioned the supporters. not been the easiest place to play this year, Meadow Lane, because understandably the supporters have been frustrated. Is mm. is that hard? I mean, obviously they're very supportive of the team as a whole, but the disgruntlement can, can show through at times. How hard is that to kind of keep out or otherwise? Um, I don't know. It is for for the players. It's it's nothing different to me. If if we're not performing, I'm not expecting any favours from the supporters. And and you know why why should we? Uh, I think if anybody's got um, an, an issue with that or the allow it to affect the game, then they've got to find a way to, to block that out and play and and play the way they can do. And and, and we know as teammates that they can do so. Um, it, it certainly won't affect my game, and I've I've never let it. But. Um, I think by having that mindset, like I said before, about the excitement of what could be um, and the positive outcome that can that, that we can reach come the come the final minute, then no matter how the game's going or swinging either way, still focus on that end goal. Um, and if it is a bit of tension and a few moans and groans, then you, you've got to block it out because they're more than entitled to, to to host that opinion. How hard has it been to block it out? Like as a whole, like it's talked about all the time. I'm sure you're sick and tired of it, but away from the ground, you know. Is it is it hard to shut it out for you when you're on your own or just relaxing with the family? Um, it, it, this season, it's probably I've found it the hardest um, I have throughout my career. My career, I think, to to block it out and get rid of it. Um, but I think as soon as soon as I get away and, and and I'm with my kids and stuff, then I can't bring what I feel here home with me because it's just not it's not fair on them. Um, so you know, I've, I've I've learned to to cope with things and different coping mechanisms and. And make sure that you don't um, take that 
you know negative feeling or that disappointment back home with you you've got to keep it away but in the in the same in the same vein you can't have that here either you know we've got to come even no matter how disappointed you are you've got to come in every morning with a smile on your face and, and want to work hard to put things right um, and we've, we've tried to keep that mindset throughout in many ways is this a tougher relegation battle than any because of the stigma of the oldest football league club in, in the world do you, do you feel that that brings any extra pressure um no it doesn't to me I'm, I'm, I'm just as disappointed getting relegated um here at Notts and what anywhere else um it's you know it, it's not nice you don't want it to happen um I can see um how much it means to the supporters because at the end of the day they're going to be the real winners or losers out of this you know um we cut we, we come and go as players and we do our best um for the side and for the club we give it give it everything um and they're they're here for the long haul, you know. Yeah. So uh, I think rather than um, the kind of badge, um, you know, with the oldest club and stuff, rather than that attachment to it, I feel I feel for the support and for the club as a whole, uh, rather than um, the actual specific um, nature of that. Good luck of the weekend. Thank you.